Fourteen thirty. slow off the block there but there's no doubt in my mind that he will be in the 1430s we just hope it's tonight leads early Perkins he's four from the bottom of screen this is his style he likes to set the pace he likes going out hard he switched 54.8 when he broke the world record I don't expect to see those times compare until he gets past the 800 he should hold back and be slightly off those world records with from Canada he was out in 26.2 we didn't get the 50 metre split there, but just glancing at the board, he looked about 26 and a half. Looked for him to be about 55 middle at the first turn, but what a technician. Look at the gap he's already established in the first 70 metres of this race. Kowalski is to his right as we look, and Hoffman two over. He's in lane three, that's three from the right. The man who beat him in first and that epic struggle. The first 100 metres about to come up. Look at the split here. It's very, very good. It's 55 one, one. I reckon that's perfect. That is centimetre perfect, if you like. And he is swimming a perfect race right from the start. Kowalski split in 56-7-3 and 56-9-2 for Hoffman. They were holding down second and third. See, this is the quality of Kieran Perkins. He's never under pressure. I mean, no one's ever close to him at any stage to threaten him. So he's just swimming his own race. Well, Neil, you said the 200 split would also be important. That's 152.91. Kieran, I would expect him to be 53.6 to 53.8. Anything under 54, I think he'd be happy with. Look for the legs to come in and out. He swims in spurts. He's so unconventional. Most swimmers get into a rhythm with a two-beat kick. He brings the legs in and out as he likes. But Daniel Kowalski has held Kieran on this 100, so I'll be keen to see the split. 51. Kowalski turns in 12.54.99, so the margin is still 3.7 seconds between gold and silver. Kieran's going to go around 14.50. It'd be nice to see him wipe that world championship record off of 14.50.36 held by Jorg Hoffman. And Daniel Kowalski is going to go around his best time, which given the circumstances is a freak swim. He'll be around 14.54 to 55. Kowalski's best is 14.53.61. He's only centimetres away from Hausman's best time. Maybe that's an incentive for him to try and become the number two Australian of all time. I think that's only a matter of time, Bruce. His incentive is world championship silver medal at the moment. Perkins is going for his first world championship gold medal. And you are seeing, in my opinion, the greatest athlete in the world at the moment in any sport. Here's the final turn at 100 metres for Perkins. It's 13.51.67. Kowalski turns in 13.55.46. So the margin is 3.8 seconds. Zesna, you can see him going past the other way. And then Hoffman. Kieran bringing the legs in. He needs to come home in about 58 to break, break the world championship record. It's been a terrific performance under duress. And given the workload he's had over the last two weeks, a very meritorious performance. Only six men in the history of the sport have broken 15 minutes. Three of them are Australians, Perkin, Hausmann and Kowalski. Two of them Germans, Hoffman and Pfeiffer. And the first one was a mighty Russian Saunikov. Here's Perkin. He's 30 metres away from a gold medal to go with his gold medal in the 400 metres. The championship record is 14.50.36. Kowalski's best ever is 14.53.61. Look at Daniel go. He's held on quite magnificently. The clock ticking away. Perkins will be just outside that championship record. He is 14.50.52. Kowalski 14.53.42. That's the fastest time he's ever swum. He's gone past Glenn Housen on the all-time list. <laughs> what a performance by Kowalski. Kowalski. That, uh, that has given me goosebumps. I always like watching Kieran Perkins swim, but when you're facing adversity like that, when you're struggling to get out of bed and you swim a time of 14.53.42, not only a 1-2, we have the best two swimmers in the world.